Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre, brings you Introduction to Experiments. Hi, I'm Dr Nick. In this video, I'm going to talk about experiments, what they are and what they are not. I will give some examples and I will introduce some terminology. There are all sorts of experiments in various disciplines. Psychology, physics, chemistry, biology, education, economics, medicine and sports science all use experiments to advance knowledge. In an experiment we control certain aspects of a process so that we can find out what the effects are. This is known as intervention or interference. Experiments are different from observational studies. In observational studies we collect data or use data that has already been collected. We do not change or interfere with the process being studied. If we want to show that something causes something else, we generally need to run an experiment. Observational studies can show association, but generally not causation. An example of an observational study is looking at the annual income of a sample of people who have different qualifications and seeing if there is a relationship between the level of qualification and their income. We have not altered any aspect of the process or randomly assigned people to different levels of qualifications. If we find that people with higher qualifications earn more money, we cannot assume that the extra income is because of the qualification. You can find out more about correlation and causation in some of our other videos listed below. I will now discuss some different examples of experiments to illustrate important principles. Food science experiment butter content and spread in cookies. We might want to find out, does extra butter cause cookies to spread more? In this study, we want to see how much the cookies spread with the different amount of butter. We think that adding more butter makes the cookies spread out more. So, we make different batches of cookies and keep everything the same except for the amount of butter. And we measure how much each cookie spreads. When we perform the experiment, we need to make sure that nothing changes except for the aspect or variable of interest. Pause the video and think about what things we will need to keep the same for all of the cookies. Here is a list of some variables to keep the same. You may have thought of some more. The amount of flour, sugar and each of the other ingredients. The temperature of the oven. The amount of dough in each cookie. The length of time the cookies are in the oven. The way the spread is measured. These are all things that we should be able to keep the same or control. There are other aspects that may be more difficult to control, such as the water content of the flour, the number of chocolate chips in the cookie, and the thickness of the cookie before cooking. We know from experience making cookies that there will be variation within the cookies. So we need to have many cookies in each group so that we can see how much they vary. We want to see if the variation shown between the two groups with more or less butter is greater than the variation shown within each of the groups. This illustrates the important concept of natural variation. Because there is natural variation in the size of the cookie, we need to cook more than one cookie of each type. If there were no natural variation, it would be sufficient to cook one cookie with each amount of butter and that would tell us the result. Natural variation is present everywhere. Cookies vary. People vary. And natural processes vary. There will be variation. You can find out more about variation in some of our other videos listed in the description below. Physics experiment, rolling a ball down a slope. In physics experiments, we can generally control many aspects. We want to see how long it takes for a ball to roll down slopes at different angles. We will change the angle of inclination and measure the time taken to roll down the slope. Pause the video and think about what things we will need to keep the same for our ball and slope experiment. Here is a list of some variables to keep the same. You might have thought of some more. The same ball, the same plane, the same starting and ending point, the same stopwatch and the same person operating it. Even though we have controlled as much as we can, there will still be a little bit of variation, including measurement error. So, to reduce the impact of that variation, we perform several tests at each angle and find the average value. This is a physics way of doing experiments. 
In experiments with living things, such as plants, animals and people, it is much more difficult to control all aspects of the experiment. Biology experiment. Frequency of watering. In this experiment, we want to find out if watering a plant every day causes the plant to grow better than watering every second day. We will alter the time between watering. We will measure how tall the plant grows over time. Pause the video and think about what things we will need to keep the same for our plant watering experiment. Here is a list of some variables to keep the same. You might have thought of some more. The same type of plant, the same age plant, the number of days we run the experiment for, the amount of sunlight and the temperature, the type of soil the plant is in, the size of the plant to start with, the total amount of water the plant gets. There are some things we cannot control, including the variation between plants, so to make up for that we need to assign the plants randomly to the groups. That way, any other variation will occur randomly between the two groups, and the only thing that is consistently different between the groups is the value of the explanatory variable, in this case the frequency of watering. Here is some specialised language around experiments. Variation. Variation refers to the phenomenon that outcomes can differ for many reasons, due to natural or explainable variation. Cookies are different sizes. Balls travel at different speeds. Plants grow at different rates. These all show variation. Variable. A variable is a characteristic of interest that is measured in the experiment. Explanatory variable. The explanatory variable is the one that is varied on purpose in the experiment. An explanatory variable can have just two values, or it can have many values. Response variable. The response variable is a characteristic that shows what the outcome is for each object in the experiment. Treatment. The treatment is the aspect that is changed by the person doing the experiment. Pause the video and see if you can identify the explanatory variable, the response variable and the treatment for each of the three experiments described before. For the cookie experiment, the explanatory variable is whether it is in the low butter or high butter group. The response variable is the measure of the spread of the cookie. The treatment is the amount of butter. For the ball and slope experiment, the explanatory variable measures the slope of the plane or angle of inclination. The response variable is the time taken for the ball to travel down the plane. The treatment is changing the slope. For the plant watering experiment, the explanatory variable is the group the plant is assigned to, watered daily or every two days. The response variable is the amount the plant grows. The treatment is watering daily or every two days. This has been an introduction to experiments. In the description below are links to further videos around the statistical concepts covered in this video. Please like this video, subscribe, but most of all join the channel, especially if you are using our videos in your teaching. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. Joining the channel also gives you access to more helpful videos like these. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible.